Hey everybody, um, today I'm going to show you how to do a SOX5 proxy through Firefox on Windows. I'm using Windows 7 64-bit edition, but this will work on any version. Um, and I'm using a, a variation of Firefox called Flock. It's a social web browser. It's actually pretty cool. As you can see, there's a nice um, you know, Twitter thing down here on the side. It's a social mediaized version of Firefox. Okay, so to get started, um, you've downloaded Putty, or you should download Putty off the internet, do a search for Putty, it comes up, it's one of the first uh, links that comes up, download it, and you can just run it directly. Um, when you run Putty, you are first presented with this screen, you put in the IP address of, of your um, SSH server and the port of your SSH server, um, and then you go down to the SSH section down here, and then you go to Tunnels. Um, I've added this previously, but you're going to see a blank screen, blank section here. What you're going to do is put in the source port, which can be any port you like. This is going to be your your um, SOX5 proxy port. Um, I've used. I'll just throw one in for the, for demonstration purposes. Say we're say we're going to use 4,000. Like I said, it could be anything. You're going to highlight dynamic, and then just click add, and that'll add a section up here. Um, since I'm going to use 8080, I will just leave that alone. So we go back to our session, we click open to connect to our SSH server and log in. And we leave this open to minimize it. Then we go to Firefox, we go to Tools, Options, go to um, the Advanced section, and then the Network tab, and then Settings. Then we're going to say Manual Proxy Configuration, and under the SOX host, we're going to put in the IP address for um, your local computer, which always is referred to as 127. Dot zero, dot zero, dot one, and then you're going to put in the port that you just used previously. And then you click OK. We'll say OK. And we'll test our browsing. And we'll see we're still browsing on the internet just fine. But our, all traffic, everything that we're viewing in the web page is, is encrypted from this computer all the way to the proxy server. So if you're in a wireless hotspot, nobody can um, view your traffic. There is another step to this, though. Um, that you might want to do because even though your traffic is encrypted, you, the websites you visit are not encrypted. So in order to fix that little problem, we open up the Firefox um, configure, secret configuration panel about config. You click on, I'll, I'll be careful. Um, there's a ton of options here. We can narrow it down by typing what we're looking for, DNS. And this is the one we're looking for, network.proxy.sox underscore remote underscore DNS. You can see it's set to false now. You just double click it and now it's true. So now when we're doing some web browsing, um, you can see that um, the socks, everything's still working through the proxy, but um, even the web pages we visit are also encrypted. If you need some help um, finding an SSH server that you can log into, um, give us a call, be glad to help. Um, but other than that, all of this is done with